is the 2020 Toyota CHR, and you are tuned into VHDXP. Let's find out what makes this hybrid so special. Toyota first unveiled the CHR at a concept show, and from the time the Toyota has introduced this car, a lot of rounds have been going about how close can the company bring this car to what it showed on the auto show. Now we know that most of these cars, when they when they premiere at these auto shows, as a concept, the reality is much different. Not so much with the CHR. The CHR has really brought its elements from the concept to real life. Its striking design and its unmistakable Toyota design language really give this car a very, very superior look. And that's what the CHR is all about. It's about giving you that stunning look while also giving you Toyota performance and reliability. Now, of course, on the front, you see that there, the Toyota has started putting these really big sweeping headlights, which are all LED panels, and these do light up when the car comes on. And of course, these are also your turn indicator signals. Up front, also, you have these really big Toyota blue badge because it's in a hybrid, so you do get the nice blue badge up in the front. It's also good to see that you do get your LED fog lights over here as well. So you have that. And of course, you have this very nice sleeking angle over here, which really gives the car a very, very nice look when you come on from, from, the, from the side of it. Side of it. Now, the only way to truly appreciate what Toyota has done for this car is to look at it from the side. And you can see over here that look at the size of these big arcs that Toyota has put in over here. Got a nice hybrid logo, power folding rear mirrors over here. And look at this distinctive two-tone lights, which is black on the top and obviously red down below. So it's a nice two-tone setup that's going on over here. Toyota has paid a lot of attention to the design elements. Look at this very steeping body and lines over here that's going out. Now the back door handle is built in over here. So you open the car like this and the door, as you can see, is pretty good. Ingressing and outgressing isn't really a problem because it's straight over here. So you've got that going on over here as well. Overall, very, very distinctive design from the side. And that's what, like I said, the CHR is all about. Giving you that very distinctive look for the car. Now on the inside, I quite honestly really like this interior that Toyota has put together on the brand new CHR. Very good visibility all around, beautiful quarter panels over there, mirrors very served really well, not much of a blind spot. The only problem that I think is that part over there, sometimes uh, it's difficult to see cars that are coming in from there. So that's a bit of a blind spot, but I don't think that that's much of a, of a big deal. But sometimes when you have oncoming traffic coming around from the other side, you just want to be a little bit particular of that one over there. Apart from that, the interior is very spacious and nice. Uh, the pattern that's going on inside is all of diamonds. So, i.e. you can see that all of these switches, all of these button controls are all diamond in shape. You also have some diamond accents up on the roof liner over here that's further getting onto the leg. It doesn't stop there. You also have more of these diamond stuff going on over here as well. So, that's sort of the theme that's going on on the, on the inside. Good amount of uh, panels over here. You obviously got these more of these diamond set over here, which is nice and good. It's it's a 3D engraved, I guess. Um, the switches over here, no problem, no big deal. It also comes with auto folding mirrors, which I think is a great great option. Really helps convince a lot of stuff. So I have a bottle holder over there, so you can place one of your bottles. Fuel trunk clamp release. Uh, not sure what these dummy switches are for, but I think one of those are uh, going to be for some of the stuff that you might require on the much higher versions. This one doesn't currently have it. Blower vent over here, and I really like this design angle. Look, gives it a very, very nice and premium feel with this over here. It's a very well, well stitched leather together. And obviously you have the entire front end that you can see. And you can see visibility is really good on this car. Uh, very good, especially for first time drivers and people that are gonna be using this car primarily in the city. The visibility is amazing, really good visibility over there. The steering wheel as well, the size is really perfect. I uh, really love these two designs that, that Toyota has put on over here. Obviously, you have all your trip gauge over here, your back menu access, everything that sits over here. You've got that going on over there. Normal sticks out the back for your wipers and whatnot. Of course, it is a hybrid, so your RPM is changed and you have the power charge eco mode, the engine temperature, and you also have the screen up, up here, which gives you different options of what you want to see. Also comes with the G monitor, which is really good of uh, Toyota to put there considering this car isn't really park baking baking performance but it's there in case you want to look at what the g monitor is doing elapsed time comes in over there as well it's a very detailed very very clear easy to read uh, dials this, these dials somewhat very remotely remind me of the prado the older generation prado i think the uh, 15 16 17 ones they used to have a very similar dial it's those obviously a power button here very good infotainment system, very crisp, very easy to read. It does not come with navigation, but you do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you have all of that. 
very good uh, easy to set up as you can see you have your audio phone apps info setup everything very good very uh, easy to read screen sort of pops out over here volume button is the lever you don't need to have special switches or a touch screen for that which is great for quickly changing the volumes and obviously all these are buttons and it's a combination of touch screen as you can see the touch screen is very responsive very well done on that and the same thing continues over here big uh, decent enough blow, blow vents helps cool you down then this as well is it does come with heated seats not cool seats but it does come with heated seats as well i'm just gonna move this floor away it does come with heated seats as well and uh, really like this button so rear defogger front defogger auto uh, for the blowers and obviously the ac off dual zone climate controls so you can change the passenger side and your side you can have different temperatures nice display over here for the fan speed and all of that as well does come with nano's uh, filter so it helps keep the cabin air nice and fresh dual zone if you want the passengers and you obviously to be in different temperatures press that you've got that eco air call and obviously ac and the ventilation system on the inside nice piano black in inserts over here is not really that big of a fingerprint magnet but i think it's it's really good uh doesn't get fingerprints as much i really love the seat bolt string as well that Toyota has put in these cars and you can see the two-tone leather that's going on over here stitched and the regular leather so really good stuff the seat themselves the seats themselves look really nice and hefty uh so that gives it a very nice and sporty feeling so that that that's really good on the side this is what it looks like sitting and driving this car this is what the side looks like uh no sunroof unfortunately it doesn't come with the sunroof down here let's talk about some storage uh you've heard you have your phone holder so you can obviously put in your usb there and you can connect that over here i really like this gear shifter there's a bottle holder up front i really like this gear shifter looks really nice fits on the hand really well power reverse neutral drive and b mode now what the b mode does is it helps you coast down so for example it helps you keep on lower gears especially on a hybrid when you're going downhill or whatnot it uses a bit of engine regenerative braking to lower you down uh, reduce your speed and also helps charging the battery that way electronic power brake which is great ev mode so if you want to go battery only you can use this of course depends on what battery status you have hold so this is the auto hold and you also have your uh what's that on that you also have your traction control off this whole suite over here is also piano black but uh again not a lot of fingerprints uh, as i can see uh but it does get a little dust so that, that's 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 okay think of um bottle storage over here so you can keep your stuff so basically you get two bottle storage one there one here nice little glove compartment uh, fairly decent i would say uh that's my iphone so that's the iphone inside you can see how much space it's taking up very nice and deep so you have that uh power outlet over there as well so that's all of that stuff that's going on uh at the back as well it's not it's not very spacious as you can imagine but again it's very well laid out so you can fit two people at the back fairly comfortably no problem so that's what's on to the inside looks like awesome.